Hey, come on, I'm pumped up. You know what time it is. Let's say from the belly. Knock on 10, baby. Boom, come on. Let's get it. Oh, come on, I'm excited. Look, I, I, I just want you to know that we are wrapping up the year, right? We are coming to an end of 2020. We are getting ready to move into the last month of the year. And you know, Sunday is a new Monday for me. I'm always grinding, always putting in work. And I have some this special message I want to share with you. So I want to tell you, I want to tell you, like, you're not finished. Like, it's not over for you. I, I want you to know everything that you have been through in this year, 2020, the year of the pandemic, COVID-19. I want you to know whatever circumstance, whatever circumstance that you're going through and it's painful, I want you to know it's going to transform you. It's going to build you to a place that makes you better. I don't know. You might be going through the process of, of flying. I want you to start soaring. So I, I want to tell you that don't be conformed to your pain, but be transformed by your pain. Mm. Let me say it again. Don't be conformed to your pain, but be transformed by your pain. Somebody said pain is temporary. I know this. Like every circumstance that you've been through, like I'm talking about, you've been through uh, uh, high school, you've been through college, you've been through university. I want to tell you that you have gone through different stages of your life and every stage is a new pain. But you have to understand, if you use your pain to transform you, you will become something amazing. You will become something uh, uh, phenomenal. But how can you how can you move from being conformed to your pain but being transformed? Because this is what makes you different. This is what makes you powerful beyond measure. This is what elevates you when you start using your pain to transform you. You see... Michael Jordan, I remember the year that he retired and he came back and he was sick with the flu. He went for the sixth championship. I, I'm trying to tell you, you see, sometimes it's your pain that will elevate you to being who you're supposed to be at the time that you need to be. So I'm saying like you are settling because you are too fearful of the pain that you're going through. I need you to start confronting your pain. I need to start looking your pain in the eye. Look, when I start looking my de learning disability, dyslexia and dyspraxia in the eye, when I, when I started to confront it, I became a published author. Yeah, right. I'm talking about a published author of three books and now I'm working on my fourth one. I'm trying to say to you, the moment I understood that I had fear of, 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 of being in a place where letting other people see in who I was, uh, uh, struggling with my true story I understood that this pain Was going to push me to greatness So now that's why I became Number one motivational speaker of all time People are, are getting up every single day Looking for my messages I understand I start walking in my purpose When I start to confront my pain I realized that being a college dropout uh, Being homeless, struggling with, 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 with All these obstacles of love And uh, emotional stress I understood that I needed to push through, I needed to work through, I needed to focus on myself, I needed to develop myself. But until I confront my pain, I had to let my pain transform me. And now I'm, I'm walking in my greatness. I got people that are watching me every single day and the, and the Les Browns are watching me, Eric Thompson's are watching me. I, I can see that they, they, they see me coming because I'm now stepping into not just being uh, uh, watching them, but now I know that I've become a rival. They, I've, I've walked in my purpose. I've, I've confronted my pain and it's elevated me to this level. I'm asking you, what pain are you hiding from? What pain that you want to cry alone and lock yourself away and go through depression with your pain? I'm talking about until you confront that pain, until you look that pain in the eye and say, look, your pain is not going to punk me. You're going to say, your pain, is, your pain, you're not going to punk me. Because until you get to that place that you understand that your pain is valuable. I say your tears are valuable. Don't waste it. Don't use it. Trans let it transform you to become an amazing person. Let it transform you to becoming a phenomenal person. Let it transform you to, to becoming that, that person that is priceless, that diamond. You see, most people uh, like to be a diamond. They, they want to shine like a diamond. They want to glitter like a diamond, but they don't want to get cut. They don't want to go through extreme pressure. They don't want to go through that painful process of being polished. You have to understand it. 
only the, the best things come out of pain. And until you're able to let your pain transform you to become, to elevate you to be amazing, to elevate you to being phenomenal. Listen to me very carefully. They tried to count me out, but I understood that God counted me in a long time ago. I understood that my gifts would make room for me at the table. And now I'm sitting at the table and all things, all things are working out for my good. I'm trying to explain to you that you are amazing. You are powerful beyond measure. There is nobody in this world like you and can do what you can do. So you have to understand, you have to let you know that your pain is making you, is creating you, is transforming you into the person you need to be to walk into your greatness. This is your boy, Dr. G, the Love Motivator. You know what time is when I show up. It's always knockout time. Let's say it from the belly. It's knockout time, baby. Boom, let's go.